Here we go then, opportunity. You would suggest on paper at least for Denmark. Do they need it? Yes, they do. They're away nicely. Got to say, Rasmus Jensen's made a lovely start off that inside. Nicholson coming up the inside, but Kolodinski's coming through there, lovely. And Lebedev's around the outside. He's in the dirt. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Gone down hard. Just come back from injury. Ribs injury. He won't like that. He's up and about. He's hurting. Mm. He is hurting. He went in there at some pace. He's down on his knees. He got up quickly, but there's no doubt. He's feeling the effects of that. It's very grippy out in turns three and four. Yeah, once you get in it, you've got to be in control. You've got to keep over the bike. If you let the bike run away, then you are in trouble. But you see from the start, it looked like the Danes had both made the start there initially. But uh, we can see Kalininskis does a decent job of the first turn, almost turns it inside out. But Lebedev enters the corner in the dirt. It's the fastest way round, just mid corner. You see the leg goes back. I tell you what, Nicholson was lucky that he didn't actually collect the bike on the way past because the bike made its way across to the inside of the track. But uh, yeah, certainly Lebedev didn't need that. We know he's sore, we know he's had some broken ribs, and he goes into the fence quite hard there. Yep. He is feeling a little bit sore, and that won't have done him any favours at all. He's excluded. There'll be a rerun with just three riders. Massive opportunity for Denmark. Latvia were coming at him. Kolodinskis was doing a great job there, actually. Lebedev's just... I did notice that uh, Schmarzler got in a bit of trouble there earlier on. It really is quite heavy out there in turn number four. Yeah, Huckenbeck two in his last race, didn't he? That's right, absolutely. So, Denmark... In sixth place right now on 11 points. Seven here would be really handy, really handy. That would leapfrog them right back into the thick of the action. And Denmark, a lot of people fancied them here. Hasn't uh, gone their way, but as you've rightly said, Chris, everybody's dropping points. Mm. So this meeting is still very much wide open. Yeah, at the moment, Sweden, Australia, Great Britain, probably with the upper hand, because after this race, if Denmark managed to maximum uh, points, then they'll be on 18. But of course, on 15, 18, uh, 15, 16, 17, the other three have got a race in hand. So Denmark going with Mikkel Mikkelsen and Rasmus Jensen. Andre Lebedevs is excluded, and Daniil Kolodinskis is in. He's in the yellow helmet colour. So we've got Rasmus Jensen off the inside in blue. Collington skids out of gate number two in yellow. And Mikkel Mikkelsen will go from gate number three in the red helmet colour. In these sort of competitions, in world finals like this, these are opportunities that you've just got to take. You have to. You've just got to take. They haven't had a great start to the night. But all of a sudden, this is a bit of an opportunity for Denmark. Got to take, they've got to take seven points if they want a medal, if they want to put pressure on the other big nations. Yeah, the, um, the race with Poland, we saw that um, Kubera, you know, he had to do almost the opposite. He had to do a damage limitation to take four points. Well, this is where they've got to grab this golden opportunity to take seven. Lebedev's yeah, a tough man. Tough man. Here we go. Heat number 12. Denmark up against 11. Oh, what a start from Rasmus Jensen. He's fired out of gate number one. Mickelson coming across from gate three. They're in charge through the first corner, but Mickelson's gone very wide there. He's allowed, he's allowed uh, Golodinskis to come nicely up the inside. Mickelson in that deep stuff around the outside. I tell you what, Golodinskis has nearly got himself to the front. How about this? Rasmus Jensen now being relegated to second place. What a ride from Golodinskis. I tell you what, Jensen's racing will not like that. He will be blasting up the inside. Golodinskis is having the race of his life in the Speedway of Nations race against Denmark. This is absolutely fabulous stuff. Meanwhile, at the back, Mickelson just doesn't look comfortable, doesn't know where to ride, doesn't seem to have the speed. Kolodinskis out in front, back in this race, what a master stroke from Vladimir Rybnikov, the team manager of Latvia. Rasmus Jensen trying everything he knows back in second place. He's got one last chance now. Round turns three and four, and Kolodinskis, what a ride from Latvia.
Denmark have got five points for second and third, but they will be desperately disappointed not to have taken advantage there with one representative from Latvia. Kolodinskis makes himself a hero in heat number 12. How about that? Asmus Jensen and Mikkel Mikkelsen pick up five points, four points for that. Latvia with Kolodinskis. Tell you what, that was a smashing moment for that mid young man. Yeah, I mean, look, to win that race is remarkable. And if he'd have done it from the start, we kind of could have understood him hanging on, but he did it from the back. I'll show you the standings then. Germany leading the way after four heats on 20. Three races only for Sweden, but they're 17. They're looking good. Australia 16, three heats. Denmark moving on to 16 from four. And uh, we've got Great Britain on 15 from three. Poland on 12 and Latvia on 12. Rasmus Jensen, great start from the inside there. You can see he's having a look over his right shoulder. He would expect in this next corner to, speak, to see... Uh, Mikkel Mikkelsen coming around him, but Mikkelsen looks untidy there, cuts to the inside, stops the run of Kolodinskis, then he goes out wider, and I don't really know why, because if he could have just turned the bike a bit harder, pretty sure he would have stayed in front of uh, Kolodinskis, but then he goes after, around the inside after Raza, and Rasmus Jensen there looking across, I tell you what, he's got so much speed in that bike, and he's going forward on the slick as well. Working a treat, what a moment for him and their team. Particularly as you think that uh, Andre Lebedev's had got off the bike in turns four in the initial staging. Looks really good there, you know. Don't know too much about him. Rides with Dalgopils, of course, in Latvia. But uh, Andre Lebedev's delighted with the performance of his teammate. Denmark not going their way. They would have wanted more from that.